And welcome to Speaking of Golf, America's number one internationally syndicated golf radio show, spanning the globe to give you the best in golf talk. I'm going to say we're streaming live with our partners, AsianGolfMonthly.com, AsianGolfDaily.com, SportsJourney.com, and we have also JoinTheGolfers.com out of Denmark, and our first guest who's on this show is going to be joining us momentarily, MulliganPlus.com, and his name is Regan Panul. And Regan, welcome to the show. Hi, Tom. Thank you very much. Well, we're so glad to have you on the air, and uh, it is a delight uh, working with you now, being a partner. Let's uh, kind of tell our listeners, Regan, about MulliganPlus.com. Uh, uh, well, thanks for the introduction, and I know it was a big build-up, and I heard you having a little argument earlier on about uh, who was going to introduce everybody. Um, um, Mulligan Plus, is a, uh, we're based in uh, Edinburgh, we're based in Scotland, um, and it's a golf website that basically was created a little bit out of a, an idea that came, um, and it kind of combines uh, you know, golf course directory, golf handicap tracking, um, and the brand new section we're just launching that we've been really, really busy at is the golf travel. Um, so obviously we have special offers coming out and we're working hard with lots and lots of partners to bring some fantastic golf offers and golf travel to the, uh, particularly to Scotland and other UK destinations. Now, uh, Regan, you're also doing some travel we're talking about because we've had this conversation on the phone of yeah. possibly jumping over to the United States as well, back and forth. Exactly. Yeah, we're really, really keen um, to develop a number of um, you know relationships over in uh, the U.S. Obviously, to bring the to the you know the U.K. market across to America. Um, we're currently um, looking at working with Nightliner, which is based in the U.S. as well, which is another great opportunity. Um, so yeah, very keen to get a really good reciprocal arrangement going. Now, Regan, you know, golf has, has, has truly become global now, and I think yeah. everything that's happened, you know, like uh, in China and Asia and things like that, how are the, seeing that Scotland's the birthplace of golf, how are the traditionalists looking at it? Are they, are they kind of saying this is great that it's going global, or are they, they kind of like to have golf the way it is? Um, I'm probably the slightly the wrong person to ask. I'm a tiny bit biased, but uh, that's okay. Uh, overall, I would say that, uh, there is a lot of traditionalism um, within Scotland because of the home of golf, but I think that um, everybody is now realising that it is global. Um, people's expectations of what they what they want when they go away on a golf holiday is changing, and it has become a very, very much more global sport. As you say, golfers are everybody's playing from all around the world now and some of the biggest destinations I know some people at the moment that are going out to Bangladesh of all places wow. um, which is a fantastic opportunity um, but I think things are changing and they are changing I believe for the benefit. Well I, I totally agree with you and now that especially that golf is going to be an Olympic sport I yeah, mean that at, you know I mean that's been trying to be put in place for years and I, I for one am delighted to see what's going to happen with that. Yeah, well, they're, um, they're really trying to fight it forward. And I was reading a, an article earlier, to, earlier yesterday about um, making an Olympic sport, and I think there's a lot of positive feedback for it as well. Oh, no, no question about it. Uh, now, it, let's, let's talk about what, getting back to your website, if, uh, if I might, Regan. And yeah. uh, if people want to uh, find your website, and let's, let's give them the, the website address where they can go to it, and also, too, the things that they can kind of look for on the site. Well, the, the web address is mulliganplus.com. It's just obviously M-U-L-L-I-G-A-N-P-L-U-S.com. Um, and I think for much of your listenings, um, listeners, we have, um, based in the U.S. and abroad, we have a really good golf course directory um, that could be found under the golf courses um, uh, menu, um, as well as the golf travel option. And going on the golf travel section, you'll see a list of the golf offers that we have available. They're coming up, you know, the, the travel offers are coming on. We've got 10 more to put on in the first part of next week. So there's a little sign up there. So if people want to put their email address in, we just keep them informed as soon as we get new offers online. Um, and even within the, the U.S., I mean, if people are listening, you can, you can uh, sign in and actually track your handicap from the U.S. courses as well. Um, so it's, it's, it could be a great benefit to your, your listeners in the U.S. Yeah, I was noticing that. Actually, I went to that page, Free Online Golf Handicap Tracking. Uh, yeah. They can join today. It's very easy, and there's no cost to that. Uh, no. It offers a handicap trapping, uh, tracking system, unlimited rounds, analysis to improve your golf game. Uh, you can get your golf handicap, a golf handicap certificate, and cards are available that are recognized worldwide. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're 
working really hard on the on this particular area, and the key was to offer obviously value for money for the golfer and to allow them to kind of the the other side of this is obviously that the social interaction that you know you can see other people's scorecards, you can see the scorecards of your playing partners, you can organise your games online as well, all through the the, the social networking side of the site. Now, how long has the site been active, uh, Regan? Um, it's been. Um, it's, we set it up about three years ago. I set it up about three years ago, and, and I have to say, for the first you know year, we kind of played around to see what we kind of thought was going to work right. And it's really last year that we've really started to motor the site, and uh, you know the popularity has increased within the UK, particularly, um, and you know places like Singapore and Hong Kong, where we have quite a lot of members. Yeah, well, that's fantastic because once again, that gets over into the Asia area. But you also yeah. you also have special offers that you can give people that visit your site, and even uh, some open competitions. Yeah, exactly. There's, I mean, there's events and open competitions on the site as well. Um, and if any of your listeners are, and, they, and they need a, and they would like to have a look at the golf holidays, we can obviously arrange a very very good uh, rate for them within the UK. Um, yeah, so there's, there's a lot on the site. Um, at the moment, we're just going through a little bit of a redesign just to tidy it up and give it a, a, tiny, a tiny change of branding. So that's all incredibly exciting for this year. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, you, everybody's probably familiar though, with it. In the United States right now, the economy has not been the best for the, for the past year. I think a lot of people are optimistic uh, in 2010. How was the economy uh, stack up, if you will, that's going on in Europe? How's y'all's economy right now? Um, I think we I think we very much follow you, even if a, a tiny bit later. I think last year was obviously very tough, and talking to a lot of the golf courses, the big golf course resorts, all their marketing w- was targeted to the UK. They weren't looking abroad anymore. They were looking for the UK markets. Um, I think now it's starting to change, and people are a little bit more optimistic, um, especially, you know, for the later part of next year. And I think as well with the Open um, this year at St. Andrews, I think there's a big push within Scottish golf as well to obviously really try to boost things. We're talking with uh, Regan Pennell. Uh, he's the uh, owner of Mulligan Plus, MulliganPlus.com, a travel uh, and other golf-related websites. And, and Regan, I'm, I'm so glad that you mentioned about the Open this year that more people probably will travel from all over the world to come see the Open. Yes, I mean, uh, I've spoken to a couple of resorts up in St. Andrews, and they're, they're fully booked, which is um, fantastic. Already? Oh, okay. Now, if somebody, if somebody does plan on going to the Open at St. Andrews, and you say they're fully booked right now, are there any places available if people are maybe deciding the last minute to come over? Um, absolutely. The one thing that's wonderful about Scotland, um, it, relatively speaking, it's a small country. Um, and even from Edinburgh, I mean, St. Andrews is probably about an hour, an hour and ten, hour and, an hour and a quarter to get to. Um, so really, the, the options for where to stay are, are limitless. I mean, within St. Andrews, it's obviously booked up particularly early. But even up in uh, Carnoustie or Glen Eagles, for example, where we have a special offer, I mean, they have particular rates for the Open as well. Well, that's just fantastic because, I mean, it, it, all of us golf traditionalists love when the, the Open is played at St. Andrews. It it's, it's, can't get any better. No, it's a fantastic course. And they're, 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 well, I've just seen recently that they, they've got the new tees lined up for the 17th hole at St. Andrews as well, the road hole, which is being changed. Um, so it's going to be a fantastic uh, Open again. Well, Regan, can you, can you hang on the line with us for a moment? We have to take a short commercial pause here. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about Mulligan Plus. Pleasure. Okay, we're going to take a short pause here on Speaking of Golf. When we come back, we'll be talking uh, more with Regan on uh, Mulligan Plus. Stay with us. Mm-hmm. 